Oh, what a rogue and peasant slave am I. Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, could force his soul so to his own conceit that from her working all his visage waned, tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, a broken voice, and his whole function suiting with forms to his conceit, and all for nothing, for Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him, or he to her? That he should weep for her. What would he do had he the motive and the cue for passion that I have? Why, he would drown the stage with tears and cleave the general ear with horrid speech, make mad the guilty and appall the free, confound the ignorant and amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears, yet I, a dull and muddy metal rascal, peak like John of Dreams and can say nothing. No, not for a king. Upon whose dear property and life a damned defeat was made. Am I a coward? Who calls me villain, breaks my pat across, plucks off my beard and blows it in my face, tweaks me by the nose and gives me the lie of the throat. Who does me this? <laughs> Swoons, I should take it. For it cannot be, but I am pigeon livered and lack gall to make oppression bitter. Or ere this, I should have fattened all the region kites with this slaves of Thor. Bloody, body villain. Remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kindless villain. <laughs> what an ass am I. This is most brave. That I, the son of a dear father murdered, prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell, must pack my heart with words and fall a cursing. Very drab, scallion, firebolt, firebolt my brain. I have heard that guilty creatures sitting at a play have by the very cunning of the scene been struck so to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malfactions for murder though it have no tongue will speak with most miraculous organ I'll have these players play something like the murder of my father before mine uncle I'll observe his looks I'll tend him to the quick if he but blench, I know my course. The spirit that I have seen may be the devil, and the devil hath the power to assume a pleasing shape, yea. And out of my weakness and my melancholy, as he is very potent to do with such spirits, abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this the place, the thing, wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. <laughs>